المناظرات التي عقدها قسم اللغه الانجليزيه بين الطلاب الاعزاء وبين الساده الاطفال المدرسين المدرسين في المدرسه. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم، السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته، يرجى من الطلاب الاعزاء في المدرسه تشريفنا بحضور مسابقه المناظرات بين الساده الاطفال المعلمين في المدرسه وطلابنا الاعزاء.
Amir, Amir, Amir. Okay, but let me remind you with uh, with uh, some of the rules today. We have a proposition team and we have the opposition team. The proposition will start. Uh, the talk is only for three minutes. Uh, when you hear the first tap, that means that uh, uh, the first minute passed. And I will tap also before the last uh, minute. Uh, we have two judges, me and uh, Mr. will judge this event. And uh, only just POI, point of region is allowed. Only one POI and you have the, you can accept or refuse it. Okay, thank you for coming and we'll let us start the, the debate. I'd like to invite the first uh, speaker from the proposition team, Mr. Haytham Tom.
forward by the first speaker from the opposition, Mustafa. Go ahead. First of all, don't you realize that at this time, you aren't dealing with students in the club, you're giving him responsibilities without giving him rights, but you, the teacher, have taught us with rights come responsibilities, not the other way around. This is what causes bad behaviors from students towards each other and their teachers, and it's what causes bad behavior in general. But when students are given the right to take their phones to school, and they see that their school, their principal, their teacher, are treating them like responsible adults, they will feel that they are getting the respect that they deserve, that they deserve as adults, and in return, they pay attention to class, and, in, and more importantly, they pay respect to what they're being told. And in the current time, don't you notice that we are living in an age full of technological advances? And the teenagers in, our, in today's world are, are, all living, uh, are all living surrounded by technology. And each teenager, like mostly each teenager, each teenager has, has some sort of technology in his hand. Uh, from mobile phones, to from mobile phones to tablets to all other sorts of technology and uh, the teenagers were actually uh, teenagers grew up with these technologies and imagine that you're removing something that a teenager grew up with how do you think that he would feel don't you think that you're taking something important from his life something that he used to that something that, uh, that something that he was born with something that you can't just simply remove away from him during times of the day uh, it's just like saying that uh, it's just technology to them is like food or water. You can't just simply remove it away from them because something, something bad can happen to them. Uh, so by taking the phone to the, the most significant the teachers themselves, who are blaming that it's distracting during the school, uh, they expect the students to trust them as adults, while they don't show that kind of trust to students. Yet, they expect the students to trust them. Give respect and you shall receive respect. Trust and you shall be trusted. So I want to end this by saying how you, how as you teachers, you feel that if you are not able to get your phones with you to work, don't you feel that? Uh, don't you, won't, won't you be feel frustrated? Won't you feel, won't you be feel frustrated that you won't be able to get your phone to work? We as students do have feelings. We, we would like to get our phones to school. Thank you. Thank you, for your fine speech, and I'd like to invite the second speaker from Proposition, Mr. Mustafa.
who made him achieve learn the lesson perfectly in order to grab his attention. On the other side, there is another cell which is grabbing his attention by a ring, by a, uh, a text message, by a DM, or any other thing. Finally, according to the national schools and safety and security offices, they argue that schools have been increasingly negative aspects. Just because allowing cell phones, allowing cell phones in the classrooms for safety reasons or for security reasons is inaccurate because the uh, security office, the security offices in the, in the uh, United States reported that many incidents or many rebels was falsely, was falsely reported and when this happened, when, when some of when some students report that there is a fire on any street in the classroom and the emergency came, the, team, the, the security team cannot manage or cannot figure out this incident and this will be a disaster. Thank you. Thank you Mr. Mustafa for your fine speech. Uh, I'd like to invite the team from the opposition uh, team for his speech. Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Nazim Al Khan. I'm uh, the second speaker for the uh, opposition. And uh, the only argument against or for uh, this motion is distraction. Is uh, phones distract uh, students. They don't allow them to study well. But uh, when you, that's one flaw that you can point out. It's just one flaw, it's just one mistake. It's one disadvantage of using the phones in the classroom. But we never said that it cannot be used as a distraction in the classroom, but instead we said that it could be used as a great benefit in the classroom. Uh, it can be used uh, for many reasons. It can be used as a dictionary, it can be used as a kind of, it can be used as a stopwatch for experiments. It can be used in many, many places in many, many uh, situations. So, it, it has many great benefits. But to say that just because it's a distraction, it doesn't have to be. What if we remove phones? They will talk to the student next to them. That's another distraction. You ask them to bring a pen and paper to school. They can play X O with them. This is a distraction, but you don't tell them to leave home. Why? Because they're going to use it, they're going to benefit from it. The same thing with phones. It's going to be uh, quicker. It's going to make the student feel more comfortable using the school tool that he's very used to and very comfortable using. It will be easier for him to use it, more fun, and he will be more productive. Because uh, a study by uh, the American scientists in 2005 showed that any student that is happy enough while he is studying is very much more productive in all kinds of ways. Uh, just because my time ended, uh, I'd like to thank you all for being here. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, Mr. Saba, for your final speech. Finally, Mr. Ramir, I think I'm here from Jim Steen to get his speech. Could you just raise your hand? I'll be the third speaker in the opposition team. Um, firstly, I think we can all agree that one of the main things that we should take care of is safety. Safety is one of the most important things in our lives. If it's not the most. How would you feel if your child was stuck in the bathroom? Yeah. 